Kia ora, what's up, what's going on? Welcome to my channel. We're going to be setting up the Sega Mega Drive emulator within RetroArch, which is in, well, I should say within the Aurora dashboard on a modded Xbox 360. Let's get started. We're going to need a USB device of some sort, so insert that into Xbox 360. Now you're going to press the guide button, which is the big button in the middle. Scroll over twice and go down to system settings. Select yes, you want to exit. And then we're going to go over to storage. Wait for it to populate and go right down the bottom and select your USB storage device. If it's not formatted, then do so. Once that's finished formatting, eject it from your 360 and insert it into your PC. Now you want to create a folder called ROMs if you haven't done so already and within that folder you need to dump in all your other folders that have the ROMs in them. Obviously your folders are labelled for each system i.e. Sega Mega Drive, Sega Master System and within each of those folders will be your ROMs. They can either be zipped or unzipped, it doesn't really matter. As you can see I don't have a ROMs folder as I already have created one on my Xbox 360 hard drive. Again, do not ask me where to source the ROMs from because I will not reply to your questions. Once the transfer is complete, eject your USB device from your PC and insert it into your Xbox 360. Your Xbox will give you a notification when the USB has been detected. Hit the back button, go to File Manager, go down to USB 0, select your Sega Mega Drive folder press left, go down to copy, press A, now press the RB button, go down to HDD1, go down to emulators, go in, go into the RetroArch folder, and then go into your ROMs folder. Then press left on the controller, go down to paste, press A, yes, and wait for it to transfer. You may get an error code, it doesn't really matter, it's just saying your file extension on your ROMs are too long, or there's no room on your hard drive. To remedy the file extension names, all you have to do before you transfer it all over to your USB device, while it's still in your PC, just delete the games that are too long or just rename them. When that's complete, just press the B button several times to go back to the dashboard. Now we're going to open up RetroArch. Give it a second to populate. So first we're going to select the core. Please keep in mind that the B button is the A button and the A button is the B button. It reminds you of the old Nintendo. So we're going to select core, press B on it. Go all the way down the bottom. Select Sega Master System, Game Gear, Mega Drive CD, Genesis Plus GX. Press B on it, give it a second to populate. Now we're going to select the game, so we go down to load content and press the B button. Go into game directory, go into ROMs and select your Sega Mega Drive folder. Now select the game that you want to run. Press the B button and you'll get a notification saying that it's loading the game.
to quit the game and select another one you're going to have to press the back button which i showed you how to set up in a previous video or you can just hit the guide button and refresh the dashboard we've come to the end of this video if you've learned something today please like and subscribe thanks for watching